hey guys welcome back to this session in this session we are going to cover pdd and sdd documents from rpa project perspective so what is pdd and sdd pdd is process design document and sdd is solution design document so in rpa whenever you get the requirement right so at the requirement phase you deal with pdd process design document in which the as is process is highlighted like how the client are doing the work right now so what is the process that is to be automated so that all information is presented in a pdd so we understand the pdd we take sessions along with the client or ba whoever is representing the client so we understand the requirement of the process that is to be automated and then out of that pdd and the discussions that we have we design a sdd solution design document which will have all the information of the process that from the design perspective from the uh, bot development perspective how we are going to deploy or develop the bot so all that kind of information is present in sdd and sdd is the one that is prepared by either the solution architect or senior rpa developer so pdd as you know it outlays high level of uh, uh, flow of the entire manual process so it acts as a user manual and it's always provided by the client or business analyst so for us uh, when we take the work for process automation for rpa developers this document act as a base from where we design our solution right so hope the uh, difference between the two document and the significance of these two document is clear from sdd we derived all the modules like how our solution is going to be what are the module will uh, going to be a part of this automation solution for example you have a sing simple sap automation process in which we are capturing the data from an invoice and inserting that data into the sap so our module will be divided first we will be having an extraction module wherein we will be extracting all the data and then we will be having an another module where the data will be processed in the sap so this is how the architecture of our automation will look like on a higher level and then the sdd will have all the details along with the document and along with the architecture diagram of the process and the module level information the task level information the bot scheduling level information all these sort of information will be available in sdd and that will act as a base for the dev uh, development so these two are very important from a rpa project perspective hope the discussion uh, and ho uh, i hope uh, the understanding is clear now let us know in the comment section below if you, if you want to know something more about these documents thanks for listening